Hello all, in this video we will learn to solve the problems on polar curves. Find the angle of intersection of the following pairs of curves. That is, we, they have given two curves here. R square sin 2 theta equals 4 and R square equals 16 sin 2 theta. So, solution here, we will write the two curves R square sin 2 theta equals 4, R square equals to 16 sin 2 theta. So from the both the curves, we need to find the angle phi. So in order to find the angle phi, we'll take log on both sides. The first step is we need to take the logarithm on both sides. That is log of r square sine theta equals log 4. So we know the log rule that is log mn will be log m plus log n. That's why we'll write it as log r square plus log of sine 2 theta equals to log 4. So log r square will be written as 2 log r in plus log of sine 2 theta equals log 4. Now applying logarithm is done in for the first curve. Now we'll do the same thing for the second curve taking log on both sides. That is log of log of r square equals log of 16 sine 2 theta. It will be written as 2 log r equals log 16 plus log 16 plus log sine 2 theta log of sine 2 theta. Now 2 log r equals log 16 plus log of sine 2 theta. Now taking log is over. Now we'll perform the differentiation with respect to theta for both the curves. That is, we'll write the log that is 2 log r plus log of sine 2 theta equals log 4. Differentiate with respect to theta that is 2 d by d theta of log r plus d by d theta of d by d theta of log of sine 2 theta equals d by d theta of log 4. So d by d theta of log r will be 1 by r dr by d theta. So it will be written as 2 1 by r dr by d theta plus log sine theta will be 1 by sine 2 theta. Again, we need to apply the chain rule that is d by d theta of sine 2 theta. So d by d theta of log 4 will be constant. So it's a 0. It will be written as 2 by r dr by d theta plus differentiation of sine 2 theta will be 2 cos 2 theta. So d by d theta of sin 2 theta will be cos 2 theta by sin 2 theta. Again, we need to apply the chain rule that is d by d theta of 2 theta equals to 0. Next, 2 by r dr by d theta plus d by d theta of 2 theta will be 2. Theta will be 1. So 2 is constant. So d by d theta of theta will be 1. So we'll write 2 cos 2 theta by sine 2 theta equals 0. Two by r dr by d theta equals minus two cos two theta by sine two theta. Two and two will get cancelled here. So then one by r dr by d theta will be equals to minus cos two theta by sine two theta will be 
minus cot 2 theta minus cos 2 theta by sin 2 theta will be cot 2 theta it is minus cot 2 theta we know that 1 by r dr by d theta is cot phi cot phi 1 equals minus cot 2 theta so we will be writing minus cot 2 theta as cot of minus 2 theta cot cot will cancel phi 1 will be minus 2 theta so this is the first angle angle phi 1 equals minus 2 theta. Now we will perform the same for the second curve that is differentiating with respect to theta. Applying long for the second curve is done. Now we will perform the differentiate with respect to theta. Will I write the last line that is 2 log r 2 log r equals log of 16 plus log sine 2 theta. So differentiating with respect to theta that is 2 d by d theta of log r equals d by d theta of log 16 plus d by d theta of log of sine 2 theta. Next to d by d theta of log r will be 1 by r dr by d theta. It is implicit rule. That's why log r with respect to d theta we are doing, it will be 1 by r dr by d theta. Next equals d by d theta of log 16 is constant. That's why it is 0. d by d theta of log 16 is 0 plus d by d theta of log of sine theta will be 1 by sine 2 theta. 1 by sin 2 theta d by d theta of sin 2 theta. Chain rule. Okay, it will be rewritten as 2 by r dr by d theta equals to differentiation of sin 2 theta will be cos 2 theta by sin 2 theta d by d theta of 2 theta. We need to apply the chain rule. Then differentiation of 2 theta will be 2. I will write in the new page that is 2 by r two by r dr by d theta equals d by d theta of 2 theta is 2 2 cos 2 theta by sin 2 theta 2 2 will get cancelled then the remaining will be 1 by r dr by d theta equals cos 2 theta by sin 2 theta is cot 2 theta. Cos by sin is cot. So, we will write it as cot 2 theta. We know that 1 by r dr by d theta will be cot phi. That's why we will write phi 2. This is an angle. Another curve 2. That's why we will write angle 2. Cot phi 2 equals cot 2 theta. Cot cot will get cancelled. Then the angle will be phi 2 equals 2 theta. Now we need to find the angle of intersection. Therefore, angle between the curves is given by phi 1 minus phi 2, modulus of phi 1 minus phi 2. Modulus of phi 1 is minus 2 theta, phi 1 is minus 2 theta, minus phi 2 is 2 theta, equals modulus of minus 4 theta. phi 1 minus phi 2 equals modulus because of the modulus the negative sign will be removed we will be having angle phi 1 minus phi 2 equals 4 theta now we need to find the value for theta to find theta 
we equate the RHS of the equation from the question. RHS of both the equation from the question. So from the question they have given R square sine 2 theta equals 4. Another R square is equal to 16 sine 2 theta. We'll write the question again in order to find the theta value. That is R square sine 2 theta equals 4 and R square equals 16 sine 2 theta. We'll rearrange this. That is R square is equal to 4 by sine 2 theta and R square equals 16 sine 2 theta. So we'll simplify the RHS part of this. That is 4 by sine 2 theta equals 4 by sine 2 theta equals 16 sine 2 theta. Now we need to find the value for theta. That is 1 equals 16 sine 2 theta into sine 2 theta divided by 4. So 4 ones are 4, 4 are 16. Then 4 sine 2 theta into sine 2 theta, it will be sine square 2 theta. 1 equals 4 sine square 2 theta. We'll write 1 by 4 equals sine square 2 theta. Then sine 2 theta will be square root of 1 by 4, that is sine 2 theta equals 1 by root 2, 1 by 2. Sine 2 theta equals 1 by 2. Sine 2 theta equals 1 by 2. 2 theta equals sine inverse of 1 by 2. That is 2 theta equals for pi by 6. For sine 30, we will get half. That's why we'll write pi by 6. So theta equals pi by 6 into 2. That is theta equals to pi by 12. Now this theta value is replaced in the equation. That is the theta value is pi by 12. Now we need to replace this theta value in 4 theta. That is angle phi 1 minus phi 2 equals 4 theta. In this, we need to substitute the theta value. This will consider as an equation number 1. For the equation number 1, we will substitute the theta value. That is substituting the theta value to the equation number 1. That is angle modulus of angle phi 1 minus phi 2 equals 4 theta. Phi 1 minus phi 2 equals 4 theta. That is modulus of phi 1 minus 4 2 equals 4 into theta value is pi by 12. 4 ones are 4 threes are that is pi by 3. So angle intersection will be pi by 3. Phi 1 minus phi 2 equals pi by 3. So hence, the, for the two curves, the angle of intersection between the two curves will be written as, therefore, the angle of intersection between the two curves intersection between the two curves equals pi by or 180 by 3, that is 60 degree. If you find the video useful, 
please like share and subscribe thank you